Hi everyone, it's Sierra from The Home Blondie and in this video I'm going to be sharing how to paint your kitchen countertops using this Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy Paint. I found this paint from Amazon, so I will link that in the description box below. I will also link my blog post at thehomeblondie.com where I share more details on this entire project. I did film the entire process of painting my kitchen counters, so I will insert that footage here, but make sure that you stay tuned until the very end because at the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you all of the things that I would do differently if I were to do this again. Okay, so this is the current state of the kitchen. So I've been working on painting all of the cabinets. I did do the edge of the counters in some places just because I was really trying to get like underneath there. Um, and don't worry about the floors. <laughs> Those are getting replaced and I'm working on the cabinet doors out in the garage. But to get ready to paint the counters, I just taped along the edge there. Um, I did pull out this sink. There's just one thing that I can't get undone, so I can't pull it out all the way because I might pull out all of that plumbing if I do that. So I just have it wedged in here um, in a way that I can still paint along the edge. We are likely going to have to cut the counter for our new sink anyway, so I'm not too worried about that, but I just wanted to make sure that I could get like along the back there. So I've sanded down the countertops and then I just wiped them off with cleaner. And this is what I'm going to be using to paint them. So I have this Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. So I had to get that off of Amazon. They didn't carry it in the Lowe's that I went to and the lady working at the paint counter actually told me this is really hard to get in store. Um, especially right now, I guess there's a paint shortage. So anyway, I got it off of Amazon. It was like $19, I think, 18 or $19. And I'm going to be using a high density foam roller. And then I'm also going to be using this brush along the edges and places that I can't get to with the roller. Here you can see that I'm rolling the paint on horizontally across the counter. It's important that for each coat that you roll on, you roll it on in the same direction. You can see here that there are lines from the roller, but don't worry, for your next coat, you will go in the opposite direction and it will all get smoothed out. In my last video, I shared an up-close look at these counters and the previous owners painted them. I think that they used like a garage floor paint kit because it has these little like textured speckles on it. But if you haven't seen my last video yet, I'm sharing my plans for updating this kitchen on a $1,000 budget. So make sure to go and check out that video next. So this is one coat, so you can see how I rolled it like back and forth this way. So now on my second coat, I'll go the opposite way. And this paint dries a bit sticky, so I think you wanna do your like second and third coat while it's still a little bit sticky. Uh, I think that will like get rid of these lines. So yeah, I think it's gonna turn out really good. And I'm going to start coat two now. All right, so this is two coats and it's been sitting for about 20 minutes. So I definitely need to do a third coat and then I'm hoping that's it, but I'm thinking maybe four coats total. Okay, I stopped filming that third coat because my dad stopped by and helped me pull out the sink there. Um, but overall, it's going well. I'm just a little worried about a couple of spots like this big one right here. I don't know why it is just like not taking the paint there. I don't know if maybe I didn't like clean the area very well. 
but it's like every time I go over it, it's almost like pulling off the paint that I did. So I think my plan is to just let this sit maybe for an hour or a couple hours um, to fully dry. You can see there's another section where it's doing that there. Um, but I think I'm gonna let this all dry really well and then go over it again with a fourth coat. And then yeah, there's another section right there. So yeah, we'll let this completely dry and then maybe late tonight or maybe even tomorrow, I'll go over it again and then hopefully we will be all finished. Okay, it's the next day. So late last night, I did a fourth coat over everything and I think that worked better, like letting it dry a little bit more before applying the next coat. But I still need to cover a couple of spots. It's so bright in here, it's hard to tell. But right in this area here, I need to put a little more paint over that spot. And then there's just a couple areas like along the edge here. So I'm actually going to be applying a fifth coat, but I think just over those couple spots, but otherwise I'm really happy with how it turned out. So it's a few days later now and I started to put a few things on the counters. I did wait a full 48 hours before placing anything like really heavy on the counters like this KitchenAid mixer. However, as I was scooting it across the counter, I did get a little scratch Let's see if I can find it. Oh, here it is right here. So I'll have to touch that up. Um, we also did ding a few areas when we were putting this sink in. So I'm just planning on getting another can of that paint for touch-ups. But overall, I think it looks so good. For just a quick paint job for less than $20, I am super impressed. It makes such a huge impact. And besides that little scratch, I really haven't had any problems with them so far. The first thing I would do differently if I were to do this project all over again is make sure that I clean my counters extremely well before applying any paint. So I used an electric hand sander to sand down our countertops, which worked extremely well. I will link it in the description box below. But then after I sanded them down, I did not clean them the best. I just sprayed my cleaner on the counters and wiped them, them off. And I probably should have taken the time to really wipe them down really well and make sure that they were really, really clean. Because as you saw in the video, there were a couple areas where the paint just wasn't sticking very well. And I think that was a combination of two things. Number one, the cleaning, like I just mentioned. But number two, I think I was painting my coats too close together. So this is what I would do differently next time as far as painting goes. Okay, so for your first coat, you want to make sure that you paint in the same direction. So whether you go back and forth or like horizontally, just do it the exact same way for your entire first coat. And then you wanna apply your second coat pretty soon after you do the first one where the paint is still a little sticky and you want to roll in the opposite direction than you did with your first coat. This is going to start to smooth out some of those lines. They will still be there, but don't worry, they will go away with additional coats of paint. But this is what I would change. Rather than doing your third coat like pretty soon after your second one, I would let it dry for at least an hour, maybe even longer if you have the time. But I think where I went wrong was applying my third coat too soon because it started to peel off the paint that was already on the counter. So I would just make sure that it's pretty dry before applying your third coat. And I would just do it in like the opposite direction that you did for coat two. So go in the same direction that you did for coat one. So you just wanna switch it up so you're really like smoothing out those paint lines. But after you do the third coat, I would let that completely dry and then your fourth coat should be your final coat. 
I had to go back and paint a fifth coat just over a few areas where the paint wasn't sticking, but I think if I would have waited longer between coats three and four, I wouldn't have had to do that. So it only took me one can of this paint to do all of our kitchen counters, but I am going to purchase an additional can, this one's empty, um, just to keep on hand for touch-ups because I have already scratched these counters, um, just a tiny little scratch from moving around my KitchenAid mixer, but I'm really interested to see how these hold up. I will make sure to post an update maybe in like six months or a year um, with how well these hold up, but I'm just planning on keeping an extra can for touch-ups and I'm also going to be really careful not to place like really hot pans or anything directly on the counters. I'll have to get some more like hot pads. But since this project really only cost around $20, I can't really complain too much if they don't hold up super well. Like I said in my last video, I'm hoping that this is just a temporary fix for a couple years until we completely redo our kitchen. Even though I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far, so who knows, we might just leave it like this. But make sure to like this video and subscribe. My video that I will be posting next week is going to be a final reveal of our kitchen makeover. You got a couple of sneak peeks in this video, but I still have a few more things up my sleeve. So make sure that you come back next week and check out my new video. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.